Hi everyone and welcome to BIM Tips and Tricks by ENG Works. My name is Ignacio and since this is our first video, I'm gonna share with you my secret and tell you why I am the fastest in the office. For this trick, we are gonna need a 5 button mouse and to make this happen, we use an external software named XMouse Button Control that will allow us to create macros. You can find the download link on the description of the video. Let's see an example. Here I have an element ID from my coordination model. I will copy it, then go to Revit and click once. Let's see what happens. Too fast? Let's slow it down a bit. I opened the Select by ID tool, pasted the ID, accepted and opened a 3D view. All in one click. This can save up a lot of time and effort when coordinating. Now let's see how it's done. For that we go to the software interface and the first thing we gotta know is on which button we want to create a macro. In this case it's going to be button 4, one of the side buttons of the mouse. Now we go to its settings and the first thing we need to choose is what kind of click will trigger the macro. We are going to choose the first option that says as mouse button is pressed. Then we type in the code. Every action is between braces. You can find a lot of examples down here. Our macro will begin with pressing two times one, making it one one. That's my Revit shortcut for select by ID. Then we leave a blank space and type the Ctrl V command to paste the ID. We wait a short amount of time and we hit enter to accept, finishing the first process. After that, wait another period of time and press Q two times, making it QQ. That's my rabbit shortcut for opening a 3D view. We leave a blank space and then we wait the last period of time. And finally, we hit enter to accept and finish the entire process. Those time intervals and blank spaces are very important since they help to avoid crashes on the macro, so you don't want to skip those. With this, we can create a macro for any kind of repetitive process that we would like to speed up making it really useful. Well, that's all for today. If you have any doubts, leave it on the comments. And if you like the video, give a thumbs up and click on subscribe to see more tips and tricks for Bing.